Let's say you want to create 3D cinematic animation. Maybe a short story, you want to tell your story. And of course, for that, you need a 3D character. And as you may know, 3D character is so headache and challenging to do from designing, texturing, rigging, and animation and rendering. So in this video, we will simplify that. Hi everyone, this is Daizen, welcome to my channel, okay, let's do that. So, as you may know, I am not a designer, I am not an animator, but I want a decent character. So, how we can do that? Let's see the possibilities. First, let's go with creating the character. First option we have Miximo, you see, Miximo has a variety of the character, as you can see, this character and the wizard so this is a one solution another solution is you can download your character on internet you see we have a cool character online and you can use that and third option of course meta human epic did a great job for this meta human to create this amazing character you see luckily this is rigged up and have texture so we have a design character texture and rigging for animation so let's say we go with meta human as you can see it's have a many benefit let's see it in unreal engine and as you can see with a quixel bridge you can simply drop and drag that on your scene this is simple so creating stick around we're gonna reveal a game changing tool later on in this video that you won't want to miss so with meta human we have designing texture and rigging and we need animation so for animation we have miximo for this miximo has a lot of cool animation but it's have own cons for example it's not realistic animation and it's recognizable in 3d community honestly and everyone can recognize this animation what if i want custom animation i want to tell my story so we need a motion capture solution so for that we need move one move one it's awesome single uh, camera motion capture solution as you can see if you know me i love this one and we talk about that in this video if you interested step by step and as you can see this is my motion capture so we're gonna use that so we're gonna import that in houdini i'm houdini guy and this is simple but it's have a glitch motion capture awfully it's not perfect for example we have this foot sliding and this is a common issue and we need to clean up and of course uh, we have this finger finger motion capture issue it's not perfect and it's so hard to capture this uh, finger movement with single camera so we need to clean that up so for the sake of simplicity and making Think faster we had a tools called mocha x it's helping us for cleaning up and retargeting it's been a while we using it so i want to show you in here so as you can see this is mocha x and as you can see it's have uh, this input it will take the skeleton and in here it's recognized as a move on skeleton and it's have uh, for example uh, foot stabilization this is basically joint stabilization and we can select our foot joint you see this is awesome and you can uh, adjust the strength of the stabilization and thickness and as you can see we have a decent foot locking in here you see that and of course you can do with the geometry uh, uh, snapping and of course we have smoothness you can smooth the animation of course you can uh, select your joint stay tuned we're going to discover magic retarget for these tools wow do not miss that
So another issue it's with the hand you see animating the hand or cleaning the hand it's so headache honestly so this tool helping us to clean that so quickly and as you can see we have this hand tab and if I enable that we have control by this preset for example we have fist for now and we can override the animation or multiply the animation and as you can see wow that's amazing you can control every and each finger now you see you have this preset as a fist and of course uh, you can multiply that and you can animate this uh, parameter you see that and make sure you uh, you animate individual fingers rather than the preset so this is amazing you can clean up your hand animation another issue with retargeting retargeting may be headache for you guys so for example we need to retarget our animation to our metahuman right so for that we need a identical skeleton let me show you we have this skeleton as a move mana skeleton it's not going to work with metahuman so for that of course we need to go to the body in blueprint and let's go to the skeleton and let's export our skeleton as fbx file so for that we need to import that using fbx character import easy right and you see we don't have any mesh but luckily we have our skeleton the body skeleton not the face skeleton so it's so headache if you're not interested in hda or digital asset you can watch this tutorial and it will take time to clean up this uh, skeleton and match that and retarget that and so time consuming i don't want to do that every time that's why mocha x will help us so in mocha x you can connect your second input to the skeleton target the skeleton and you can go in re in retarget tab and it's easy you can retarget your movement to the Miximo or metahuman and boom you see that that's amazing just with one click you retarget your animation with your skeleton metahuman skeleton if you have Miximo you can do that and we support Miximo to MetaHuman too. If you have animation Miximo, you can do that with MetaHuman and everything it's work. You see, fingers, anything. You can now, uh, you can now um, manipulate your MetaHuman skeleton. That's amazing. And now you can uh, FPX animation export that. And let's import it in here. This is typical stuff. We talk about that in this tutorial. I'm uh, set up in this a meta human it's easy i'm just dragging that in sequencer and i will add my animation to the body and voila you see just like that wow that's amazing honestly and by the way if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content i will be so grateful for that stick around to see how you can easily attach an object to your skeleton like cyber r this is game changer now what if you want an accessory to your guy for example if you want to hold a torch in in his hand for example so for that in mocha x it's so simple for example you see i want to show you the layering setup before i can do that you see in here i am uh, having this cleanup mock-up and then retargeting for retargeting back to the meta human and as you can see the output is retarget and i have this uh, torch so let me show you i have this one and i have this torch you see i want to connect or link this one to his hand so how we can do that it's so simple let's create a mocha x and let's connect the third input to that torch and let's go let's rename that a torch for example and we can go to the bind we're gonna bind this mesh to the joint rather than the skeleton so we need a joint in here and we need to select our joint for example this hand let me zoom up in here and now as you can see we have that and let's make the reference frame at the current frame and let's see and let's go to uh, output as a bind and as you can see 
our torch or our object is moving with our animation but as you can see it's not in the right place of course you can uh, have this transfer node and adjust this position as you can see but we have a better solution for that to make thing easier we have this magic button auto align so you can select that and as you can see we have this transfer mode set up for you and you need small adjustment based on based on your need so as you can see this is our linking wow it's so easy guys you see that we need easy stuff in these days so what if you want this character with all the mesh and animation in houdini you see guys i want to stay in houdini i want to do any uh, everything in houdini the simulation and the linking and everything you see with our metahuman fx import we don't have any mesh we have just a skeleton so how we can do that this is a separate part combined as a blueprint as a metahuman we don't have a single mesh you see that how we can convert that as a single mesh and export that to houdini so we can go to actor and uh, convert to static mesh so of course selecting your blueprint and let's save that and as you can see we have that as a single mesh without any skinning without any joint let's export that as a fbx file and let's open it in houdini and as you can see we have scale issue let me adjust that and voila we have our guy raw guy without any joint in here so how we can bind the skeleton with our guy of course there is plenty of tutorial uh, on youtube you can go and uh, figure that out with these rigging tools but in mocha x we have that in simple way let me show you we have the skeleton and we have the third input for our mesh and now in bind rather than joint we go with the skeleton and voila man <laughs> that's so simple and i love that honestly so that's amazing and of course you can use this approach for example if you need a cyber arm or you need a, another thing to attach your to your skeleton it's simple for example this uh, box uh, make sure to place it in proper place and as you can see in simple way it's binding to your skeleton man that's so amazing a few moments later and as you can see after a while i download a se several assets and i simulate that with the vellum the cloth and you see all that it's done with houdini because i'm houdini guy and as you can see this is with our character and all that done with mocha x the linking uh, uh, and this binding all that in mocha x honestly this is so handy asset and this is i am import that with a alembic file and this is in unreal engine man this is new meta human i love it so finally we did it as you can see we create this character using meta human and mocha x to apply our animation and this accessory wow that's so amazing in simple way guys without any headache and of course using our mocha x it's available on my patreon if you're interested and if you want it for a free instruction in description and with that of course thank you for these amazing guys and have fun with our content guys so for that see ya